So here is the first part of the experiment. Um, what I did is I used the silicone gun and um, I cover the tip of this rubber case here. I cover it with silicone and I let it dry. And when it still when it still was a little bit soft, I did push it inside just to kind of like create the right shape for it to fit. Um, now it fits well. It a little silicone tip that is on top of the rubber, so it's making it a little bit more ozone resistant. This is all in theory though. All right, so this was the first attempt and I think it turned out okay. Now, the second attempt was um, just trying to create my own tip. So I did remove this rubber tip from the inner pusher and I created my own tip here. As you can see, that's all silicone. No, it doesn't look too fancy, too perfect. Still has little silicone hairs there. I'll clean up in a bit. And I did this by using this silicone gun and just pouring silicone, you know, on top and to the sides. And when this was still soft but not melting, I did push it inside just to kind of make sure that I created the right shape so it would fit. Now it fits well, and I don't think there are any leaks, and I have created my own silicon tip that goes in the pusher inside of this barrel, and the barrel is polycarbonate, so this one would be 100% ozone resistant. Again, this is all in theory. We'll see how it works in practice. So now we have two alternatives. It's the tip here, where I cover the rubber with silicone. Okay, it works well. And the one here, where I created my own tip out of pure silicone. All right, so next step is to test both and see how this works. Thank you.